It's a launch monitor. It's a GPS. It's a launch monitor. It's a GPS. No, it's a launch monitor. Bro, I'm telling you, it's a GPS. Listen to me. It's a launch monitor. G. P. S. The Garmin G80. It's a GPS and a launch monitor, and we're gonna unpack this thing today. Let's do it. Hey, by the way, if this is the first time you've checked out the channel, please do hit subscribe. We do golf tech reviews like this weekly, and we'd love to see you back here. Without further ado, let's go check this baby out. All right, packing slip, bubble wrap, approach G80. So if you look at the outside of this box, it looks almost like a cell phone, like an iPhone or an Android phone, but it's a golf GPS handheld with integrated launch monitor which makes it very, very cool in the fact that it does double duty for you out on the course. As you know, I already have the Garmin S62 Golf smartwatch, which I absolutely adore. I also have the Z82 rangefinder, and this has very similar technology built into those in terms of Golf GPS. But what makes it really cool and really helpful and useful to me and my game is that I can take this out in my backyard up against a hitting net. I can take it to the range or even out of the course and use it as a launch monitor to track my progress, to learn how far I'm hitting each of my clubs and how I can improve my game. So the Approach G80 has a three and a half inch touchscreen. It's actually water rated to IPX7. Have no idea what that is, but I assume that's good. 15 hours of battery life. You can hook it up to your Garmin Golf app with live scoring, which I'm already using with my S62. You've got full color course view mapping, practice modes, as well as games. You can actually load courses on here and play around virtually. You've got target practice, tempo training, and warm up. You'll also get plays like distance, the pinpointer feature, which is really useful on course if you've got a blind shot, and you've got big numbers mode, so if your eyesight isn't what it used to be, this will be really helpful for you. Now here are the performance tracking aspects, which I'm really excited about. You've got built-in radar technology that offers club head speed, ball speed, swing tempo, smash factor, and it will give you a distance estimate. There it is, very cool. So I would say it's just a little bit smaller than what a cell phone looks like. In fact, let me get you my cell phone. This is an iPhone 8 Plus, and there is the difference for you. So you have an idea of what the Garmin looks like. All right, cool. So it comes with its, oh nice. It's like its own little cell phone case. That's cool. Yeah, there we go, clips right in. Nice, oh, I guess you could put that on your belt. I'm not gonna do that. All right, you've got a carboner. That's a nice one too. Man, it feels like you could climb a mountain with that, but I wouldn't try it, but maybe you could. Uh, don't sue my channel if you die on a mountain, please. You've got a bunch of rings. I don't know what these are yet. Very interesting. All right, we'll come back to that. This, again, some sort of handheld clip. I'm not exactly sure what it does. There's your cable. It's not a USB-C. This is a regular like mini USB plug. And you've got your instruction manual. All right, so that's everything that's inside the box. Let's go ahead and take this out to the course and give it a few whacks. That sounded dirty, didn't it? All right, so you have a number of features here. We've got the warm-up feature, tempo training, target practice, and virtual round. We're gonna go ahead and start a new round here because we're actually gonna play some golf. I just made it out to the course. And it already knows where we're at. And I've gotta say, that was very quick. It already knew, that's pretty cool. So we're playing Cypress and Meadow today. We're gonna to be playing the white tees. And there you've got a nice visual representation of what's on this hole. We've got water to the left. We've got water up near the green on the right-hand side. And it's a 357 hole. Now that's pretty good in terms of accuracy right out of the gate, I'd say. Now, of course, what you can do with this is kind of check out where you might wanna fly your ball to. So I can say, hey, I want to I want to have about a 120 shot in from this hole. I've got to hit a 243 drive. You can check out different areas, what it is to the water hazards, what it is to carry the water. Let's see what it is to carry the water there on the left. Uh, again, about 243. This is where the water really comes into play at 154. And so you can check out the various features of the hole with this as you're playing around. 
I think that that is super cool. You can even zoom in to get a little bit more detail there. Now let me take you through a few of the features here. We've got uh, a scorecard feature. So you can actually keep score during your round up to four players, which is, should be all you need. Hopefully you're not playing any five balls out there. You've got live scoring because I have this connected to the app so I can actually do live scoring and people can be tracking my round in real time. If you care about how I'm playing, go look me up on the Garmin app. Um, measure shot, that's gonna measure your shots. You can hit that every time you're about to take a shot. You've got a pin pointer so you know where the flag stick is. It's gonna give you a visual representation of where the flag is in case you have a blind shot. And you could save this location, so if you want to remember this hole or a feature of the course for some reason, you can do that here. You've got plays like distance, a tournament mode, and you can, if you're a little hard of sight, you can use big numbers to give you some bigger distance there. Just like the Garmin S62, you can actually set where on the green that pin is. It's way up there, but it looks like to me like it's up here, and I can actually save that. That way I'm going to get better distances to the pin that way. So another really cool feature of this device is you can actually use this button here on the side to bounce between the GPS and the launch monitor, so you can be doing both while you're playing around. Super cool. All right, so we're going to check out the measure shot feature. As you can see, I'm right by where the T's are, and I can start to measure my shot from here. I hit begin measurement, and then as we move, it's going to show us how far we went. We'll get all the way up to my drives and see how this thing turned out. We're going up here a little bit further. 252, what do we have here? That's in a hunt core. So there's a little bit about how it performs on the course. Now, I wanted to take it back to the range and actually see how it works as a launch monitor. This device has very good feedback. It gives you your estimated carry and roll as that big number up top. It's also gonna give you some stats like club head speed, ball speed, smash factor, and tempo. Garmin claims the distance to be accurate within five yards of your shot, and I need to do some further testing to tell you if that's true or not. Now, the other cool thing this device can do is play games. You've got target practice where you can choose certain distances to hit to. I chose 125 here, and then I hit some shots to that target. So you'll take a swing, and then you'll look back at the launch monitor. You'll get a little visual representation of your ball flight. It'll give you some roll and then it will give you a number and a point scoring system. So it's a way to gamify your practice, which I think is really cool. Now this unit has no way of knowing your side spin, so it will not really tell you if you hit it right or left. You'll need to see that visually out on the range. That's why I think this device works better in a range environment rather than hitting into a hitting net where you really can't judge if you hit it right or left. At least out on the range, you know if you hit it straight. Now it's got one other really cool practice oriented feature and that's called a virtual round where you can play with one or more players and basically you can choose a course somewhere in the world. I mean you could play one of the most famous golf courses out there, top 100, or you could play your home course like I did right here and you play the course and you literally start hitting it. It gives you a distance, you hit your shot and then it takes you to the next distance and you keep proceeding like that. There's no putting of course. So once you hit the green, the hole is over, but it actually scores it for you and you can play a virtual round. So that's how you take a boring run of the mill range session and make it fun and interactive. I love this device. So there you have it, the Garmin G80, a GPS and a launch monitor all in one in a wonderful little compact package. I really love this unit. and I can't wait to take it back out on the course again. If you're interested in buying a G80 for yourself, I'm going to leave a link down below. Now that's an affiliate link. And when you hit those links, that helps support Let's Play Through and we appreciate it very much. That's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope to catch you next week here on another edition of Let's Play Through.